Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to day 22 of walking to Walsingham. And this is our dear sister Juliana and she is one of our walkers and we are all feeling very tired aren't we sister? Oh not at all. We're full of of enthusiasm and the very sight of King's Lynn fills us with radiant joy. See you in Walsingham. God bless <laughs> and thank you for your kindness. Oh, she feels better than I do. See you later. Bye. Bye. in Bulwell and more than halfway through a fundraising walk from Nottingham to Norfolk. The Paul Clares aren't actually out on the road though. They're completing laps of their garden. Well, we sent Carol Hines to meet the sisters hoping to raise millions of pounds to rebuild their monastery. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to day 19 of walking to Wolsey. Since the start of May, the 14 nuns who live in a monastery in Borwell have been walking from Nottingham to a shrine in Walsingham in Norfolk. Not literally, but virtually. Their daily walks are posted on the internet. We um, were given an uh, uh, iPad from um, a benefactor of ours and it was just in a cupboard for years and then we were like, oh, maybe we can use this. Originally from New Zealand, at 33, she's the youngest of these poor care nuns. The walk is in addition to their daily duties. Our work really is to pray for people. Uh, we don't generally have people come in to um, the house um, or to the surrounding garden either. So you're privileged. <laughs> They need to raise a couple of million pounds to rebuild their monastery. The main roof is leaking and a waste pipe is broken. Moving from Bulwell is not an option. We have a cemetery here and it's just over there. Um, and it would take an awful lot of money to um, exhume the sisters and re them wherever they go. End of day 19, we landed at Carrington City. They're now more than halfway through the journey of 111 miles, walking whatever the weather. It's rained, poured most days, and some days it's been very cold. Um, occasionally God has turned on the sun, but not very often. And we're just going for it. Whatever it is, we're just going for it. Anyone wanting to sponsor the sisters should go online and search for Knott's Nuns. Carol Hines, BBC East Midlands Today, Bullwell. What a great effort, well done all. And I have to say, we've got to say goodbye. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> End of day 22. 22. And we've reached South Watton. Watton, Wooten, Watton. 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 Okay. We are tired. <laughs> we have just finished a very hard time on Thy Kingdom Come on Facebook. We couldn't get through up first. Oh, I don't know how people deal with technology. We... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nice living in a world where there is no technology. <laughs> where there's very little, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going live. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so, anyway. bless everybody who's supported us today. Yeah. We've had a good day. Yeah. Only a little drizzle of rain. First thing. And it's now a lovely blue sky just so when we're about to go to bed. <laughs> so well, not quite, not yet. <laughs> no, no, but you know. So we hope um, and pray that you've had a good day too. Yeah. And bless everyone, as I say, for contacting us today. Yeah. And also those who watched um, the BBC East Midlands. Yeah. So, so that was a bit exciting. And sent us support. We are, Mother, do you know you're famous? Am I? Famous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so we hope and pray that you have a good night. And we'll see you tomorrow on yeah. day 23. And also Pentecost. Happy Pentecost to, to everyone. everyone. 
yeah so just a quick reminder if you don't know already you can head over to www.notsnuns.co.uk to find out anything and everything about us and we'll see you tomorrow on pentecost sunday mm. have a good evening Bye. god bless and a happy day